Hi, Chick-fil-A leaders. Today we are discussing the five best practices for what it looks like for you to utilize the training module in the OneClick app software. So let's get started. The first one that we recommend is to first, as you're just getting started with the software, this is going to take a little bit of time, but go ahead and do the hard work of providing the training ratings across the board for all of your team members. This may mean that you divide the work up amongst several of your leadership. Um, maybe you have all of your all of your team come together and you all um, do a couple at a time, but whatever it looks like for you and your team to get this done, make sure that as soon as you can, go ahead and provide ratings across the board. This will only help you so much, especially as you're creating those setups, you can quickly glance to see who is excelling at what, who needs to be trained in what. It's just helpful across the board. So get that done. That is the first and foremost thing uh, to really make sure you, you're using this part of the software. The second is to make sure that you adjust the rating rubric. So there's actually a way if, um, if you'd like to do this uh, and maybe some of the language that is automatically provided does not quite align with the way that you train your team or the language that you use in your restaurant, uh, let us know. We would be happy to send you a copy of the rubric that we use. You can make your adjustments, your adjustments accordingly. Maybe you need to add a few positions or add a couple characteristics and qualities of how you want to provide the ratings for those positions, and we will be happy to make those adjustments for you. That way it is personalized and unique to you and your restaurant, and you can give the best training and best feedback to your team. The third is to actually decide uh, how you want your team members to view the training module. Do you want them to have access to view the comments and to see how they are rated based on the, the different uh, positions that they have been given a rating on? If so, we have a way to turn that on and that can cause a natural conversation for you and your team members to have a flow back and forth and they can see where they need to grow. You may also, on the other hand, want them to not have permission and instead you have your leaders go ahead and, uh, and have that conversation with them, but your leaders only have access to view the ratings that are provided for individual team members and the comments that are there. Uh, this, could be, this could be a good option for you if you prefer to have those conversations directly instead of having the team members view all of that. So that's your option, uh, your choice, but let us know what you would prefer and we'll get that set up for you as well. The fourth best practice that we recommend is to make sure you are constantly updating your training. Uh, every, every day that you have a new hire in a new position, every day that you see that someone is excelling or getting better than even the last time you saw them working in that position, make sure you take that time to provide that rating for them uh, in the moment, right? If it's not happening then, we're probably going to forget about it, especially with all that you have to navigate in a day-to-day -day at Chick-fil-A uh, and make sure that you do that. And then finally, this goes along with number four, but number five, we would encourage you to follow the rating prompts that are provided. So you don't actually have to remember, you can just follow those prompts. If you go to the main setup uh, on, on the page under shift notes, there is a little, a little box right there that says uh, ratings, rating prompts. And if you click on that, it will actually have a menu that slides over gives you additional prompts for who was in maybe a new position that had not been in that position previously and what uh, we would recommend for you to do to provide those ratings and constant feedback for your team. So again, these are the five best practices that we have come up with for the training module. If you have done something else with your team or especially if you have some recommendations on how to get all of your team members initially rated for those positions, let us know. We would love to hear that feedback. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel to get more helpful tips on how you can best utilize one-click app software for your Chick-fil-A restaurant.